I'm Dorothy Buchanan Wilson, International President, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Welcome to Conversations. La, la. Our guest for this webisode is Sarah Janine Glover, disability advocate. Sarah Janine, welcome to Conversations. Thank you so much, Madam Supreme. Thank you for having me. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much for being here. My first question for you is, um, you are a known advocate who's had a very interesting life and your career path has taken you in a number of different directions. You have taken yourself off the path of being a top executive in the entertainment industry, and you're now a very strong advocate for individuals with disabilities. Tell us, how did you get on that path? Well, it was quite simple, Madam Supreme. Um, I had an amazing career in entertainment as a talent agent and talent manager. And when we decided to start a family, and we were blessed with twin daughters, when we found out that one of our daughters was diagnosed with autism, the path for me was very clear to make the change to focus on advocating for people with developmental disabilities was a natural change. My family's involved and I'm doing all that I can and have to have a voice for my daughter and others in her position. Tell me a little bit about exactly what do you do as a strong advocate for individuals with disabilities. Many times those disabilities aren't visible and certainly in this case this is one that we're not as familiar with. Absolutely. Well, I thought I could help heighten our cultural awareness about developmental disabilities when I was asked to join the board of directors of the North LA County Regional Center. I've been a board member for four years now and I'm starting my role as president of the board and it's been a, an amazing path. We're filled with consumers who actually have developmental disabilities like cerebral palsy, um, intellectual challenges, and autism which is a very large growth area and what my daughter has. Um, many of us are also parent advocates, so we are focusing on finding solutions and being at the forefront and having conversations about how we can best serve the community. And then we also have vendors who actually provide day programs, behavioral services, and it's the mix of our board that makes us really strong and a big voice so that we can go and talk to legislators in Sacramento and say, we need these things on behalf of our uh, clients that we serve nearly 20,000 by the way, and um, also to just be able to have a collective, a collective voice. It's just really been a great, great opportunity. And what, what do you find has been one of the greatest challenges dealing specifically with autism, especially as it relates to autism in very young children? You know, it's a growth area for me. It's a learning curve. I haven't experienced this developmental disability before. No one in my family that I know of has had this particular developmental disability and I think culturally sometimes we kind of shy away when we learn that someone learns differently or you know may need some different resources so for me the greatest challenge has been really learning everything I need to learn the terminology but since the age of 18 months when my daughter was um, assessed and then later diagnosed at age three I've been participating in her therapy so Someone will come to the house for speech therapy or occupational therapy. There was floor time. Now we just completed an, uh, an applied behavioral analysis therapy called discrete trial testing where for 36 months <laughs> um, I learned a lot because there was a tutor in the home every night of the week giving my daughter behavioral therapy, helping her grow and reach certain milestones. This was, you know, a challenge because I'm not used to this, but being hands-on and being right there and participating in the therapy, along with my autistic daughter's twin sister, who she was able to model in some of the therapies, model, you know, typical child behavior. Um, it really filled in a gap for me and it gave me the lingo I needed to be able to advocate for others in this position and the knowledge to really um, speak from a place of 
this is important to me. So when I'm speaking to legislators and saying those budget cuts affect us, I'm speaking on behalf of you know my family and how it's directly affecting my child with autism because we're cutting a budget sure. that um, may have some effects later on. You know, if she gets certain therapies now, down the road she will be acclimated, integrated, you know, into the workforce and, and successful in her own right. It sounds like your four-year-old, your daughter, has really inspired you to and feel your passion for the work that you're doing in terms of advocacy. Um, how else has she inspired you? You know, she is so tenacious. I think having a twin sister that she models really drives her. Uh, we put them in sports, so they're doing team sports, which is soccer at their school, and then they're doing individual sports for track. And her sister's been winning medals and leading, you know, being um, amazing with setting new records for herself. And Kai decided, you know what, I'm going to get my personal best and, and, and exceed my personal best. So she has won two races of her own. And that drive and motivation from a kid that's been told, oh, she may never talk to a kid that I've been able to take with me to Sacramento and she's been able to tell legislators, please restart early start because early intervention helped me. <laughs> you know, that motivates me every day just to see her take a part and of her own um, therapy and her own, um, just for her to take a part of her own life and get involved in making sure that she gets the very best to go to the next level. So she motivates me and, and she inspires me with everything that she does. Thank you, and thank you for sharing your story because as someone who works in the field of, of disability and disability services, I know that that can be a challenge and certainly as someone dealing with someone with a young person with a disability, certainly that is something I'm sure all of us have a passion for. Thank you for being here with us on Conversations. We look forward to hearing more from you and your amazing story. And again, I'm very proud to know you and I'm sure the members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority continue to be proud of you and the work that you do every day on behalf of individuals with disabilities. Thank you very much, Thank Madam you. Supreme. Thank you. An honor. Thank Great. you.